Yeah, she's fine. And I might just put it in a ponytail, but I wanted to repress it. If I did it. That mousse just made my hair back tangled. With that mousse. Looking like a Muriel. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I don't have no money for no braids. And I'm not spending my last $200 on no braids. It's just not happening. What's that damn moose? I don't know how to curl my own hair. <laughs> I be trying though.
like this. I'm not starting over. Yeah, I'm gonna do a ponytail. Like how it's bending, and I ain't got the patience for this shit. I don't want no wig. I want to wear my real hair or some braids, and I don't got no money for that because that shit is. It's just so many other things you can spend with the money. Hold on, I gotta, uh, okay, now you can send something to me, GG. I'm doing it. I want to know how Hezekiah feels knowing. No, I ain't. Yeah, I ain't. Okay. So I can smoke my cigarette and clean up. Okay, Gigi. Are you traveling to me, I'm not quitting cold turkey. I'm about to smoke a cigarette.
<laughs> this song is be so lit. Good cat. Take my little cigarette break and then you ate all your chips. Hmm. Hmm. Look, right here. I don't have court today. I don't know what you're talking about. And my face is greasy. But this is how it's gonna look. I'm not cutting my hair. The shame on a woman who cut her set of, if she cut her hair. And this making me look like I'm a little girl. You get a high ponytail. Yeah, so I like my natural hair. Your style is cut yours anyway. So don't I look more angelic like this? That's what I thought. So it's 11.33 when I get done smoking this cigarette. I'm gonna go sweep down my stairs, sweep out the hallway, sweep out the living room, sweep behind the couch, sweep the kitchen, and then clean out my bathroom. And then now when I get done with that, I'm gonna start dinner. I look like a sneaky kid. Okay, Maxton. And then when I get done with that, I'm gonna cook dinner. And the house, the kids come home at 4.30. I'm not ugly. I'm cooking some salmon. I love salmon, so the kids have to eat salmon. Y'all haven't heard me say a cussed word today. Y'all not yet. Y'all not gonna hear me say a cussed word today because although I have my first cigarette today and it's 11. I told the children that when they get home, they can only watch gospel stuff. No TikTok, nothing on YouTube but gospel. Um, we're not doing that. We're not playing nothing on 
the TV, no songs on the TV. That's nothing, only gospel. We're going to purify this house. We're going to purify this house. He does a lot of stuff like I just texted her. I said a lot of stuff that me and you, and really me and him, have never talked about. I, I mean, I guess y'all. He, I guess in his mind, he think that everything is okay when a lot of stuff that he did to me in my life affected me tremendously. Like he don't understand that, and just because I'm grown does not mean that I don't have a, a feelings about it. Yeah, my daddy. So it's like, so I posted just sweep under the rug all the stuff that I had, all those days I cried, all those times that you said you was gonna be there and you wasn't, all those heartaches that I had. I posted to just forget about it and be like, I can, I can do that. I can do that. I can forgive. But my whole thing, what brought back up the trauma is when she said, well, I don't know if I can get Israel. That's what brought back up the trauma because I'm like, well, I would never expect that for her to say that because I don't care. I, in my eyes, I feel like, damn, he wasn't there for me. So he knows I don't ever really ask him for nothing because he told me, like, basically, them ain't my kids and they're not my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to help you. So I went through eight years of not asking him for nothing, really. Like, when I do ask him for something, it'd be something small. Like, okay, can I use your car? Unless I'm in a dying emergency. And even at times like that, I don't even call him because he make me feel like I can't call him. Because he's not responsible. I'm talking about me having his grandkids. I feel like I couldn't even call him for stuff because he made me feel like, well, them not my kids. I'm not responsible for them. Them my grandkids. Them not my kids. I said, I never said that these was your kids, but... You knew when you had kids, you needed help. So why would you think that I wouldn't need help if I had some? And then to make it, the, the icing on the cake is just what he wasn't there for me. I never knew about me. I had to learn the hard way. He never gave me no sit down, one on one talk about no yes. daughter. Oh, yes. these men ain't nothing. Okay, All of that. Seven. He did that shit when I was grown, when I was already seven, I'm six kids now. in. And I can oh, let go. And I let go. But my, what I'm just saying, can y'all just be quiet so y'all can hear what I'm saying? The point that I'm trying to make, I let go. But my whole thing is, when he told, when she said that he don't know if she can get my son. Because of a schedule, knowing the alternative with them going to be in the home. That right there is what pinched every nerve back in me and brought all the trauma back up. Because if it was me, I would not. I would. Why would he say? Why would she say that? If anything, as a grandparent, you would want to try to get as many kids as you you can, and not just take one. I'm not calling my cousin asking him for this. I'm calling my fucking daddy, who I never asked for nothing for, and he got a big ass house. Uh, that was left for me and my kids that's what even that's the motherfucking cherry on the cake so that's what i made that's why i said that's why i felt and i asked y'all was i wrong for feeling like that Yeah, he was never really a father to me. Father. Like he wasn't, and I'm not gonna keep on saying that he was. Like he wasn't. He was, he was not. And he and I was and I can forgive him for that. But I feel like even though these not his kids, he should wanna. He should wanna like make it right though. He can make it right by trying to do it, helping me now. Like he want me to forget everything, but you, but I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a life. This is a crisis.
Let me make sure everything is off the wait, floor. Wait, wait. I mean, so, whatever. I guess I have to just... What is family then? Because I don't know how that feel. I don't know how to... How don't, I mean, so what is family? Mom finna get in the shower. My grandma, she doing her best. She has went above and beyond. I'm shower, mama. And I don't feel like my daddy put in that. She didn't. My grandma raised mama. me, and she raised me like the best that she mama. could with her mistakes and all. Mama. But she still that was a mother because she still. Mama. Tried. I don't even think that my daddy even. Mama. He didn't. He didn't even put in mama. half of an effort of being a parent. Mama. So. Now his now his only daughter asking him for his help. I'm not saying he should kiss my Mama. ass, but I do feel like, Mama. you know what I'm saying? Mama! What? I need a shower. Yeah, when you come the out. Because the might need a bathroom. Okay, well, wait then. So, can I go outside for now? Right now? I'm going to be in front of y'all yard. Yeah? Y'all have to pick that stuff off the floor. I wear. Hmm? Huh? Now all that garbage, put it all in one bag. You know? But he said he was going to get them, but still, like, I, just me going on that emotional roller coaster is what was what stressing me out. Of thinking if he gonna do it or not, like that, that right there, that emotional roller coaster that I just been through, went, just went through with that, it just triggered me. Like it was a trigger. And I don't care what y'all say about forgiveness. I can forgive somebody, but I still have triggers. People don't. People talk about healing so much, but don't even know nothing about it. Like you can heal from something, and still there can be triggers that certain triggers that bring it back up. And that was just a trigger for me. And I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. And I'm not saying that they obligated to help me out. But it's just, it was just, it just triggered me. And I didn't know how to, that's how I expressed myself. And that's how I felt. And I didn't know if I was wrong or right, but that's how I felt. This don't have nothing to do with no CPS. This been a this is a this been a problem. This Are you hello? Hello, come on. Sir. 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 Okay. So in the in the boys' room down there, and then this room is raising water every time I take a shower. Okay. Okay. Let me get that food. I mean, I guess because it's on social media, it can come off as embarrassing, but they can't get mad at me because this is my lifestyle and this is my part of my life. So 
This how I be making my money and help get my help, so. Yeah. Yeah, I well, he actually asked me for an intervention. She asked me, she said that she think that me and him should have an intervention. I've been a troubled person. I've been a trouble team. I've been a troubled young person. I had a lot of things happen to me at a young age that I couldn't explain or understand that I just had to deal with. And, you know, all I can remember is getting taken away from my mama and never seeing her again, only to be a crackhead. So the stuff that my kids may be going through with me, it happened with me when I was younger and I ended up living with some people that didn't really love me the way that I thought that I could be loved at the time. Or I was just depressed from the, the whole situation. Yeah, you was going in and out. And then I'm trying to see if they can go with my grandma too. So just so they can split up some more kids so y'all not. I'm trying to see can they go to my grandma house too, so. Okay, cool. Did you talk to her supervisor or her herself? Okay, thank you. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You want to go outside? Don't go outside like that. Don't go outside. Look at her looking at her sister like that. Like she wanna play with her. Eliana, this is not the time to play. So they, my family, they is trying to work with me. They are because, um, Because they found something on my daddy's record. We don't know what it is, but they found, they said he can get it a sponge off his record. So he's willing to move out the house so Stephanie can get them. Until he get it, so he get it expunged and he can move back in. And that's right there. That's love. That I, I feel love. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. I mean, he do got another house. 
He they own another house, so. But still, that's that's I'm grateful for that. Move. I'm interrupting people's lives. Well, I'm pretty sure my grandma life got interrupted when he when he couldn't take care of me. And I'm not saying that that's that I don't I don't want to interrupt his life. I don't never call my daddy for shit unless it's a, a pure emergency. Like um I don't want to interrupt their life. I wish if I had a, if I had a thousand dollars, I would pay them. You know what I'm saying? I would pay them. But I don't have it here. And they know why I pay them. So yeah, they they eating three times a day now. Here. Okay, what? They were only eating two meals a day. I get, I feed them at twelve, and then I feed them like around uh five or six. Get out, Jeremiah. Or like right right after dinner. I'm not playing. Jeremiah, get out. Jeremiah, come out before you get in trouble but you won't go outside. Go over there and do that. And if y'all not if y'all not putting picking up that stuff, y'all about to come back in the house. Y'all already did. Then y'all took a shower just to go right in the cold. Yep. Yeah. They're not taking no shower when y'all come back in, so don't get dirty. We not. I'm not. <laughs> Y'all said shower hour. Okay, y'all come back in the house because y'all gonna get cold. Y'all gonna get cold out there. Y'all are gonna get sick. We never get sick. We never you get always cold. sick. We never get cold. We never get cold. We do like that. Yes, she is. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Come in the house. No, y'all can catch pneumonia like that. Y'all ain't gonna keep y'all cold. Yes, we is. We always do that. We all hold each other. Cause how it comes up. And y'all better pick up the stuff. Yeah, it's cold in the D. How we gonna keep peace? They friends out there. Now y'all wanna y'all wanna keep their friends away? Y'all part of the problem. Y'all confusing. Here. First y'all say they don't have no friends. Why don't never go outside? And now y'all saying they shouldn't go outside. Y'all backwards. Then y'all said they 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 got a shower. They got a shower, so now what? Mm. 
Yeah. Girl, you nosy. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember that song. <laughs> Put some socks on your feet. Here. Before you go out, Israel, feed the dogs. Because our band told you to feed the dogs. They eating um bananas and squash. Girl, and you see how slow CPS is. <laughs> Why they wait until the last minute to find placement? They should have been did this here. Now we gotta run around with our head cut off to figure out what this gonna do and what's that. Gonna do. each other i'm trying to have a conversation y'all having a conversation with somebody else god damn i'm just saying i'm just hearing y'all talking to each other like y'all at the motherfucking cookout or some shit here this ain't no goddamn cookout this is real nigga problems and i'm the victim damn what y'all think this is? This is another episode. I'm just trying to tell y'all. This is we done came this motherfucking far. We done came this far. God damn, it's getting hot up in here. Here. We at the ruler to the tutor. We at the ruler to the tutor with this shit. And I can't wait till it's over. Everybody waiting till Thursday. Even motherfuckers I don't even know waiting for Thursday. I got two, three thousand people waiting for Thursday. Damn. It ain't even nothing to do with y'all. It's my motherfucking business. And y'all were y'all waiting for Thursday like this got something to do with you. You nervous? How the fuck you think I feel? I'm glad y'all feel like y'all living my life, but in real life, I'm living my real life. God damn it. You can't react until you know what's gonna happen.
Oh my god. Something going on with the licky leg legs. Those licky legs. My month of the year. Months of the year. Months of the year. Then when I get done changing them, then I can finally, finally fill out this application for that and wait for them to call me back, take that test, see what my scores is. They put me into a placement on what program I can fit that fits into me. I start getting monetary gain for going to school while I'm working as a healthcare assistant. I mean, a healthcare worker, and boom kids and counseling um i when i called this phone um i heard that they had gave me um different detroit at work this is where i'm talking about that's where i'm this is where i'm going detroit at work but um what i'm saying is and then the program i'm in is called skills for life and then the other program that i'm going to be in is called learn learn to earn so they all like coordinated together and now like i said when i get my gd then i'm gonna go back to school to become a hemodialysis and so if i'm making twenty dollars an hour i don't even need to be no um cena i mean no not no cena but no um rn so it started for me to go into school for four years to be an rn i can get them to pay for me to be a hemo um dialysis technician so yeah I'm not a felon. I don't have no felonies. I have misdemeanors that can be expunged. So. And I don't have no felonies. Felonies. I have misdemeanors. So yeah, that's that. I can definitely get off my um that stuff. And I already read y'all. The, the information at the bottom with the um skills for life program they working with people who do have felonies although i don't have no felonies i have misdemeanors so um they have different programs that still allows you to get your your education and you can get your degree with felonies like they don't know they do that in detroit y'all crazy so that's always a it's always going to be help for me and so just be mad about it. There's always going to be something there that I could do that's going to help me. So. Y'all think y'all throwing me to the wolves when y'all throwing me to a safety net. You're throwing me right to a safety net. And you're just mad because I'm about to get paid to take my GED and get paid. So you can continue to be mad. Continue to watch my life. And watch me bring in these rolls. And watch me take my credit class so I can get a house from off the, from from my section eight. So let's continue to do that.
That's funny. Y'all got all these resources for me, and now that I'm getting it, and it's and y'all see that I'm profiting off of it. Now y'all mad. <laughs> now y'all mad. Jealousy. I'm not making no excuses, and I'm sorry that you feel the tech. I'm not making no excuses, but it seemed like y'all mad. Y'all mad talking about some. Oh well, no, you ain't gonna be able to get no um no no certification because.